I'm sorry. It's only been three hours, two hours since my last post. It's like 5.30 in the morning. And I am being very fragile. I'm feeling very fragile. And to put it into picturesque story analogy, I'm unraveling. Just like this country is unraveling. Like a beautiful sweater of many different colors and textures. It's, the president has pulled on that string saying, where does this go? And he starts pulling the string and the sweater's unraveling. There will be nothing left. There's so many things that can happen and I am deathly afraid of what could happen on election day. I'm going to get my vote in early if I can. Um, I know I've been wasting time and procrastinating doing stuff, but it's really hard to see everything you've worked for, your life, whatever, be driven away in someone else's van. I saw a whole, a whole lot of stuff being driven away from my mom's house. Oh, hello. Come here, man. Oh, my little baby. He's the only guy I got. He's the only one I have. I know Brian has a lot of stress, and he's doing a lot for me, and I appreciate it. But I'm just, I don't know. Goody booty. Oh, I need you, kitty. I know the doctor went above and beyond by calling me. Booty booty. I gotta trim your toenails, buddy. You're gonna get stuck when you jump down. Your leg's gonna be going, ah! You'll be stuck on something. I'm sorry. This is about the 20 millionth time I've recorded this. But now I've got a kitty cat in it, right? And everyone likes a kitty cat. Most everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, talk faster, Shirley. I've been procrastinating, you know, making a tongue drum or a slide whistle or sewing or this or that. Because it's painful emotionally. It really is. Seeing your, well... It probably might be worse if I had a wonderful childhood and wonderful memories and all that stuff. But it does dredge up the past, and it does dredge up a lot of emotions, good and bad. I'm like a person walking on a path that goes along the cliff and then back into the forest. I'm on the cliff right now. When I look down, I could fall. Accidentally or on purpose. This country outsources everything, even the doctor's call service or whatever. It's outsourced to the Philippines. This country has been sold. This country has been thrown away. 50, over 50 years worth of social and... Um, ecological advancements being dismantled and it really upsets me. I talked to Scott last night too and he, you know, they're doing okay. He's living with his in-laws. Um, they're struggling. He's waiting for his citizenship papers to be approved and he's been waiting for five years. The border is closed here. We can't go anywhere, see anybody, even family members. Well, we can go to Mexico, apparently, and Croatia and Dubai and some, some Caribbean island. There's five places that we are allowed to go. I don't know if anyone knows that, but uh, I don't know. With all the wildfires and the earth turning in on itself and everyone else in the world hating us, the United States, because people are too freaking self-centered. 
and spoiled, and they don't want to cooperate. I remember when Italy first got all the the, the pandemic and everything. There's a lot of people that don't want to be inconvenienced, but you have to. You have to to keep so humankind and all that. But there are people that don't want to. My foot is still sore. I've been taking antibiotic, not antibi uh, antibacterial fish tank pills. I soaked my foot in mild bleach water last night. Seemed to help a little, but not much. And my left leg feels like it's clotting up. It's like, I almost said I've had enough, you know. There's things in this life I like. But then it's a lot of work. And I think that's why old people give up. Because they're tired of trying. Hopefully I can love on the kitty some more. He probably wants to E-A-T. And I don't know if he knows how to spell yet. But if I said F-O-O-D, I know he knows those words. But uh, I'm sorry. And I always seem to talk too long, but it's like I need somebody. I wish I had someone like that, Dr. Guy. Someone that's intelligent. Intelligence is very important to me. Can't argue with a stupid person. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have the AC is off. I have a fan on up here, and it's still, it's kind of humid still, but it is cooler. I have so much to do, and I seem to be creating more of a mess around me, like Pigpen from Charlie Brown. <laughs> Nothing, you know, it starts to get cleaned up, and then it's like, I guess like a bird building a nest, you know, you start holding on to stuff and surrounding your stuff, self with stuff, and uh, to protect yourself. That's why I still have long hair. I love my hair, and I can hide behind my hair if I don't want to be anywhere. Like a little kid, peekaboo. You can't see me, and I can't see you. I hope. The things improve. Right now, I don't see much chance for anyone telling me, oh, well, there's numbers to call for help. No. Someone that's despondent is not going to call a number. I miss hugging people. Not that the kitty cat's not a people, he is. And the stubbornness of a few people is fucking up the world for everybody. I'm not the kind of person that would go out and kill somebody, but I sure feel like it sometimes. <laughs> Uh-oh, psychopath! Mm -mm. I don't know what the day brings. I need to mow grass, but my foot, I don't know. Can't fix the garage door. Unless I can find someone around here that can help me. And I don't even know if I can fix it. I did 20 years ago, or however long ago it was. And Bear and I put the spring up in the garage, but I, he's gone. I don't have anybody. I have no one. Hi to my friends in Australia. See, your country did it. And I know a lot of people... We're not happy, and we're not pleased to, to have to buckle down and try to get rid of the, the virus that nobody knows that much about, and don't believe that there's a vaccine. It's political bullshit right now. They are working on it. They are trying to discover more about it. But uh, magic is not real. There are miracles. But magic 
as in magic tricks, is a diversion from reality. And that's what we're living. 